Sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth. The Super Bowl is underway. Prater tees it up, and he'll be kicking it away to get this one started. He gets it back out to the 20-yard line. Robinson was there for the stop. And from Utah, onto the field, steps the seventh-year quarterback, Alex Smith. They'll set up shop at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Makes the throw over the middle. He's dropped down around the 38-yard line by Hill. from their own 38-yard line. No biting on the play fig that time. Wow. It's now second and 15. Dumps it out left. The focus of this offense is ball control, and it's built from the offensive line up. Of course, 
When you have one of the premier running backs and Frank Gore from Miami, it becomes an easy decision to run the rock. No question about that, Gus. Frank Gore is one of those running backs Maybe not as flashy as some guys, but he puts up flashy numbers. It seems like he gains five yards falling down, and he is just built so low to the ground, the guys hate tackling him. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Crabtree was his intended target. Fourth down. The 49ers lining up to punt. Royal will start his return at the 24. Returns it to about the 32. Norris was there to bring him down. And now in his sophomore season, here comes the pride of Jacksonville, Florida, Timmy Tebow who was born in Makati City in the Philippines. The offense will start at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. He's looking towards the left side. He drops the easy pick. Let's meet some of the starters on offense, which places a lot of responsibility on Noshan Moreno, running back out of Georgia. Well, the talent is there, but Noshan Moreno needs to find a way to stay on the field. Injuries have kept him on the sidelines a little too much throughout the course of his career. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And as we take some time to introduce the defensive key players, we spotlight Patrick Willis from Ole Miss. He is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, and he's getting better. Yeah, multiple Pro Bowls in his career says an awful lot about Patrick Willis. He has a motor that never stops running, and he has become the emotional leader of this defense. Dumps it short. The pass falls incomplete. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. Ginn takes it at the 25. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Gore takes it up the middle. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Brian Dawkins was there for the stop. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Breaks through up the gut. Frank Gore really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. First down and 10 on their own 37. Short throw to the left. And he's knocked out at the 31. And here comes the defensive key players featuring Champ Bailey, the veteran cornerback out of Georgia who shows no signs of slowing down. 
The term shut down corner, I think, was invented to describe Champ Bailey. Not only does he still have the athletic ability, he is such a smart player that he's able to read and assess plays and make adjustments on the fly. It's a pick! This guy's a gambler, no question about it. He doesn't mind taking some chances, and sometimes it pays off just like that. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Throws it deep, left side. And so many quarterbacks worry about getting the ball out there and deep down the field. As a former receiver, I would much rather have some elevation on that ball. Give me a chance to go up and make a play. Typically, receivers are bigger than those defensive backs. So, from their own 36-yard line, He's going deep to his right. Yeah, I don't know if the ball slipped out of his hand or what, but that one really wasn't that close for a professional quarterback. Third down and 10 coming up here. He's searching for a receiver. Takes a shot deep to the right. It's tipped away. Great defense. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. It's fourth down. The Broncos lining up to punt. Ginn will start his return to the 24. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Short pass to his left. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Norris picks up two yards with the grab. Second down, eight yards to go. Inside handoff. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line by Goodman. Now they'll face a third and six situation. Rolling out to his right. Steps and throws to the left side. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. So, it's fourth down. The 49ers are lining up to punt this one away. He'll field it at the 17. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Brooks was there to bring him down. 
You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Tries to juke the defender, and he will be tackled. Five yards. Second down and five to go. Decides to run. He finds a lane. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own, 39. Short throw to the right. And the pass is incomplete. So they'll face a second and ten. Passes short right side. And the tackle was made by Manny Lawson. We're scoreless after one as we get set for the second quarter. The Broncos, nothing. The 49ers, nothing. Welcome back to Denver. They line up at the 50. The counter. He's brought down at about the 49-yard line by Brown. It's now second and nine. Ball on the 49-yard line. Dumps it out right. Quinn was the intended receiver on the play. Here's a third and nine situation. Ball on the 49-yard line. Flips out short. The stop was made by Justin Smith. The Broncos have a bunch of short completions, but they're not getting the yards after the catch right now, and that's because the defense is playing them very tight and making good, solid tackles. It's fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. It bounces out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Now, this has got to be one of the tougher punts to make here. It's so easy to get a little too much on the kick, sending it into the end zone for a touchback. He did a great job hitting it just right on that one. Flips it out short. 
He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. They'll face second down and 10. Has a man to his right. He's tackled at about the 27 by Mays. Gain of eight on the pass. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Smith flips it out. Excellent job by the defense to force a three and out. Always thought the most important portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going. But anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense. A lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. Royal will take off at the 31. He gets out to the 45. Brooks was there for the stop. Boy, that was a close one for the coverage team. They were able to wrap him up before he broke it open, but he is on the brink. This coverage team is going to have to start playing with a little more intensity, a little more heart, or they're going to give up a big one. Looking. Fires it to the left. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's going to run with it. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. The Broncos seem to be unstoppable on the ground so far. They're ripping off big chunks of yardage at a time. And with that, we have reached the two-minute warning. We will be back after this break from your local stations. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Two minutes to go in the half. Moreno gets the call. He crosses the goal line. 
touchdown! That was some great running there. Knew exactly where to go, which hold a hit. When the makers move, turned it on. Just a very natural runner. Prater tacks on the extra point. Denver is up a score. Matt Prater gets yeah, ready to kick it away. Williams is back to receive the kick. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Robinson was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. First down and 10. Throws it over the middle of the field. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. And he's down after the slide. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. It's picked up. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. He takes off. And the tackle was made by Manny Lawson. Big run on that one, but they were able to stop him before he got to the marker, and really that's the key. Occasionally, if you're going to try and make a play in a long yardage situation, a quarterback run from the defensive standpoint isn't always so bad. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. They'll throw for the first. Scrambles for positive yards. The defense couldn't figure out a way to come up with a stop on that third down attempt. And let's give that big offensive line a little credit there. They knew they were going to have to drive this defense off the ball, and that's exactly what they did on that one. So, they'll go from the 28-yard line. He's going to his right. Throws. At the 40. He's looking for a burst of speed. Touchdown, Broncos. So, with that, they took advantage of the interception and added points to the board. Prater adds the extra point.
Matt Prater will be kicking off. Ginn is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Demarius Thomas was there for the stop. Ted Ginn looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. And we'll have a first down in 10. Fires a laser down the middle. He's dropped down around the 44-yard line by Mays. from their own 44-yard line. Has a man short to his left. Crabtree was his intended target. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Passes out to the left. And he drops the short pick. Morgan was the intended receiver. Third down now, 10 yards for the first. Ball on their own, 44. Passes it over the middle of the field. Champ Bailey was there to bring him down. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You, know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable. And I think that's beginning to happen now. So it's fourth down. The 49ers lining up to punt. We've played a half in the Super Bowl and our score. The Broncos, 14. The 49ers, nothing. Welcome back to Denver.
Denver will get it first here in the second half. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. Takeo Spikes was there for the stop. Spikes looks to be seriously injured after that play. They'll set up shop at the 19. First down, 10 to go. Good coverage downfield. He dives on it. You have to protect the ball. It's really just as simple as that. You cannot have turnovers and expect to be successful in a game like this. So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. He's looking to run. A pickup of about three. Here's a third and long situation. Ball is on their own 11. Under heavy pressure. Steps up and immediately goes down. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Ginn picks it up at the 46. Gets to about the 34 and is stopped. The offense will take over at the 34. It's first and 10. Gives it up the gut. He's brought down at about the 25-yard line by Fields. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. Smith with the give. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line by Hill. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. And the ball on the 18-yard line. Another run. He's wrestled down right around the 12-yard line by Hill.
10 yards away from the end zone. Inside handoff. Champ Bailey was there to bring him down. The inconvenient truth, Frank Gore, will get enough to pick up the first down. It's a gain of three. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Gore will run it again. Only five yards away from the goal line. Smith will hand it off. Now we're down to just a one possession game and things will get interesting from here. Touchdown 49ers. Nedney puts it through, and it's a seven-point game. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The 49ers, seven. The Broncos, 14. Joe Nedney is ready to kick this one off. Royal stands back to field the kick. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. He makes it to the 22. Harrelson was there for the stop. They'll go to work at the 22. First down and 10. Moreno takes it up the middle. The stop was made by Patrick Willis. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, it does. certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. He's tackled around the 25-yard line by Brown. Third down. They need six for first down. Ball on their own 25. Looks right. Throws. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. It's fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. Ginn will take it at the 35. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. Smith gives it left. And the tackle was made by D.J. Williams. Five-yard pickup.
Brings up second down and five. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Broncos, 14. The 49ers, 7. Welcome back to Denver. The 49ers begin this final quarter with possession of the football down by a touchdown. Throws middle of the field. And he can't hang on in heavy traffic. Ginn was the intended receiver on the play. Third and five right here. Ball on their own 42. Throws to his right. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. It's fourth down. The 49ers line up to punt. He'll take off from his 18. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. They'll get the ball here at the 22-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Dumps it out right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. They'll face second down and 10. So they have the ball on their own 21. He's going to run with it. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. Moreno on the inside handoff. Fumble. Offense gets it back and dodges a bullet. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. They say he was stopped short. Fourth down. And you wonder why so many coaches have gray hair in this league. You think you're close to putting the game away, then you almost give it up. He's over there saying, please, guys, a little ball security. Ginn takes it at the 28. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. The offense will start at the 33. First down, 10 to go. Gore on the run. The stop was made by Brian Dawkins. 
Frank Gore does as good a job as anybody out there. If it's a small hole, he finds a way to get through it. If it's a big hole, you see an explosion. From their own 45-yard line, Gore gets it on the inside. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 42. Passes out to his right. It's almost picked off. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Passing situation for the offense here on third down and long. Throws the deep pass. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. The 49ers are lining up to punt it away. He really did a nice job there, pinning them back inside their own 20. Anytime you can force an offense to start inside their own 20, it really gives you an edge. They'll start this drive at the 16. It's first and 10. Number 15 gives it up the middle. Navarro Bowman was there to bring him down. The defense makes a great hit, forces the fumble, but you know the coach will tell him that he has to hang on to the ball. You got it, Gus. No coach wants to see his player ever fumble, and to be honest, the quickest way to get knocked out of the NFL is to keep giving up the football. You simply cannot do it. Moreno on the right side. He's dropped down at about the 27. By Supuaga. And with that, we have reached the two-minute warning. We will be back after this break from your local stations. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Here's the give. Manny Lawson was there for the stop. They pick up a chunk of about six yards.
So second down. The offense needs about four for the first. Moreno takes the give. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Justin Smith was there to bring him down. Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Hand off to the left. Manny Lawson was there for the stop. And every first down in this situation means minutes tend to run off that clock. It is so difficult to get off the field when the offense can run the football like that. First down and 10. Ball on their own, 39. They go with the kneel down. Second down and a long 12. Ball on their own, 38. He puts it on the ground. Denver is able to fall on it. Very nearly a huge break for the defense that time. They're over there holding their heads saying, how close we almost had it. The Broncos are very close now to walking off the field as Super Bowl champions. He takes a knee. Fourth down. The Broncos are lining up to punt this one away. It's time to celebrate in the Mile High City. The Denver Broncos are Super Bowl 46 champions. After a tumultuous 2010, when this team felt stripped of all its best parts, Denver invited number seven, John Elway, and his two Super Bowl rings to be vice president. First, a new head coach, and then the draft-based revamp of their defense. Both came up aces. And what a welcome rise it's been after only one playoff appearance in the last 13 seasons and so much disappointment and frustration in between. Rebuilding was the expectation, but they're way ahead of schedule as this new era has begun with the Broncos wielding the NFL's top prize, the Lombardi Trophy. What a moment for every single one of these men who have dreamed from the very first time they put on a helmet what it would be like to live this moment. The sound of the final whistle, a declaration of victory, while fireworks bellow high in the night sky around them. 
This moment, witnessed by the world, when they can truly call themselves Super Bowl champions. This game's big plays and magical moments are now part of NFL lore to be replayed over and over again. A highlight reel of charged memories that show that this team was capable of taking hold of this moment, capable of becoming historic. And on the other sideline, the creep of doubt and second guessing brought on by heartbreak that they came within one win of immortality only to see the stars had written a different script one in which their daydreams of victory were dashed what a feeling for these players an ongoing sense of accomplishment they'll carry with them their entire lives and a victory this community can forever cherish it's a win that has eluded so many superstars who have tried and these men now know it is a gift to rise to the top to exist even for a second at such a rare height a bond has been formed that can never be broken and the spoils are immeasurable